What you see on your screen right now, it is a 4K ultra high definition Blu-ray DVD player and a sound bar. Hi, welcome to our channel all about home electronics, where in this video we're going to show you how to connect your 4K DVD player to your sound bar so that you can listen to the audio track from your 4K DVD player through your sound bar surround sound system. If you're not already a subscriber, please hit the free subscription button at the bottom right of the screen. This way, anytime we publish new tips in the future, you'll get a notification and we're going to start right after this. Now what you see on your screen is the back of our 4K DVD player, the back side of our example soundbar, and the back of our TV. We're going to show you two different wiring connection methodologies. Both connection types will allow you to hear audio in surround sound. We'll show you the HDMI connection first, which is most preferred, and then the Toslink connection second. Because this video is how to connect your 4K DVD player to a soundbar, we're already assuming that you've made a connection on the back of your soundbar from the ARC-enabled HDMI output using a high-speed rated cable to the back of your TV to a 4K rated ARC-enabled HDMI input. Take either end of a second HDMI cable that's rated high speed and plug it into the HDMI output on the back of your 4K DVD player. Then simply take the other end of that same HDMI cable and plug it into port number one. In this configuration, every component in the connection, the 4K DVD player, the high-speed rated HDMI cables, the soundbar, and the TV, all five facets of the connection must be 4K rated and enabled and that is why you must use a high-speed HDMI cable. Now in the second option we're assuming that you've connected your 4K DVD using a high-speed HDMI cable directly to your television. What we're going to do now is we're going to connect the audio between the back of the 4K DVD to the audio on the soundbar using this optical digital audio out. This is the optical Toslink cable we will be using. If you bought it brand new, gently remove the plastic cover on the tip. It has a unique shape. Make sure you line that up and gently press it into place until you feel it snap. Take the other end of that Toslink cable and put it into the Toslink input on the back of the soundbar. Make a mental note of the name of the input you're plugging into. In our example, they've labeled it TV. In your situation, it will be labeled something different. Turn on your soundbar and switch it to the correct input. HDMI 1 if you used HDMI as your connection method, or if you just went with Toslink, set it to TV because the input was labeled TV. Okay, now that you have all the proper cable connections made and we set the TV to the correct HDMI input so that we can see the image on our TV. And now we're gonna take a look at some audio setting options on our example, which happens to be a Samsung UBD-M8500. And what we wanna do is scroll down to sound. Now, if you connected via HDMI, you know HDMI already outputs the best audio signal possible, so we're going to ignore that for a minute. If you connected via Toslink optical cable, you might want to consider adjusting the audio output format if that adjustment is available on your 4K UHD DVD player. Now, it's defaulted from the factory as PCM. PCM is a very standard signal. Most soundbars do process PCM. But if your soundbar can process DTS or Dolby Digital, you might want to consider selecting that. Uh, that is available to us here, and we're recommending DTS. This wraps up our video on how to connect a 4K ultra high definition Blu ray DVD player to a soundbar. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below the video. Here are a few video links we hope you might find useful. If you like this video or it helped you, 
please give it a thumbs up and subscribe free to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.